In this video, we are going to be doing nails, obviously. We're gonna take these off and then put on my most favorite tried and true press-on set that I get from Amazon. I buy these in bulk because they're just that good. So I've been doing press-on nails for years now. These are an old set. These are press-ons. I always do press-ons. These look toe up. They're a white set and I get most of my nails from Aliexpress. I'll link this particular nail set below. They're also on Amazon. Now, to be honest with you, normally I will file these down and then use the foil that has the actual cotton pads on the inside. I soak them with acetone and then take it off. That's the proper way to do this, but I cannot lie to you. Many times, once these nails are just old, they come off real easily and I just pick them off, okay? I don't advise this, but I'm just being honest. So right now I'm gonna try and pick these off. If it works, that's how I'm gonna remove them. If not, we'll do the other way. So just like I thought, they will come off that way. And I've had these on for maybe a week. Normally my nails will last two weeks, sometimes three. It just really depends. And if I don't want them to last very long, what I'll do is apply a nail hardener underneath it. This is not going to allow it to adhere to my nails very well. So it just depends on what I'm trying to do and what I have coming up. But when I really want it to last, I'll show you basically what I do to allow that to happen. But everyone's different and you just have to try it out and see how long these nails last on you. I will link below a folder on Amazon that I use to house all of my nail products, including the actual package that I use to put everything in to store it the whole nine yards. Again, I advise you to do it the correct way, but I'm going to just get these nails off quickly. Okay, all the nails are off. And in case you're wondering, no, that didn't hurt too much. I mean, a little bit, but not too much, okay? This is how my raw nails look. And of course, the first thing I need to do is to clip them. Even though I'm wearing longer nails with the press-ons, I do not like for my nails to be long in general. I just do not like that. So I'm gonna clip them now. And now right here, honestly, the most ideal situation would be for me to soak my fingers and do all this. But honey, I don't be doing all of that, okay? I just be making it do what it do. And I just clean up my cuticles and I go about my business, okay? Every now and again, I go into the nail salon and get a manicure, but that is really once a year, if that. I just be doing my own thing at home, okay? Praise the Lord.
All right, so now I size the nails to see which are gonna go on which finger. I don't use the glue that it comes with because I prefer this Kiss glue, which dries extremely fast. It's the Max Speed Nail Glue. So when I'm sizing for the nails, it's important to ensure that they obviously fit the nail as much as possible, but that they don't squeeze the skin around my nails too much because I have made the mistake of choosing a nail that squeezes the skin and literally it starts to create this sore after a day or so. Now, with that said, I have wide nails and in these kits, sometimes a bit of my nail will show. Even with this one, for instance, a little bit of my nail will show on the side for this thumb, but I'm okay with that because whatever, right? It's not gonna be absolutely perfect. Now that I've identified all of the nails that will fit, I'm gonna clean my nails off with acetone just to get all of the possible oils off of my nail. This is a great way to ensure that the nails really do stick to my nail well. Again, if I didn't want them to last too long nail hardener underneath will suffice and they'll start to lift after a few days With this, I could use a nail dehydrator or this extra bond right here. I've done this before. Let me just do it now. I mean, I don't always use this, but whatever. And this dries really quickly. And I do apply a lot because I need for the ends to really melt in. You'll see what I mean. I need all of it to catch the glue and it dries fast. Give it a little bit of a press. Sometimes I do have the fall over or what, the spilling on the side. And if I do, I just clean it really fast and press it on. But literally it's already on and it's good to go. But I'm gonna press it some more just to be sure. Like I said, these nails can last me up to two weeks, sometimes one week. And when I say last, I mean the time before it starts to lift on the sides or start to look raggedy. Because I have so many of these and I do my nails often, I don't mind doing my nails every single week. I honestly change my nails depending on how I'm feeling.
And now that the nails are done, we get the shine shine going on like they do in the nail salon because why not? And the nails are done. Sometimes one or two will be a little crooked, but I don't really be caring, okay? This is the final nail. I love these. Again, I'll link everything below. I just love them. They're easy, they're classic. Let me know if you plan on trying these out. Bye.